Hey, welcome back to Cook It's R, and let's draw another Roblox Rainbow Friends character. And this time it's gonna be pink. And this one's got a really cool look. I think it's probably my uh, second favorite character. In terms of looks, I think blue looks the best. But pink with the big mouth is actually really cool looking. So let's draw this. I'm just gonna sketch it out. And you can, again, you can draw this with a pencil if you like. Just wanna sketch this so I know what I'm gonna be drawing with a sharpie later. So let's say this is his mouth. So it's basically like a rounded rectangle. And the inside here, and his eyes are really cool, his head right here. It's got those alien eyes. So this is kind of high up. Let me move the paper. Let's see how is that? I think that looks okay. And his eyeball inside. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a cross eye here. So it looks like it's staring right into you. And when you're drawing this, you know, if you like, you can draw the eyes in different directions. It's really up to you. And then his mouth. I'm gonna draw drawing all those uh, cool looking teeth. And it's not uniform, looks like he's lost a lot of teeth. Probably uh, been chomping on too much stuff. So he lost some of his teeth. I don't know the story behind these characters. All right, so just draw in Bunch of this little uh, little triangles, and then inside here is gonna be all black, and I'm not gonna shade it in because it might take a little long. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll just give it a slight shade. I can always make it darker later. Yeah, I might shade it in darker later because it does look cool with a big black you know, opening for his mouth right here. That way the teeth really shows up. All right, let's just try that. And then the body is really simple. We're just going to continue this, this width right here for his head. Just come down and then his legs. Maybe I'll give it a slight pose. Let's, let's try. Maybe have one bend in a little bit more. Maybe it's kind of like walking toward you. So these shapes are so simple, you know, you can draw the legs whichever way you want. I'm just trying to give it some pose. Maybe this one can come in a little bit more. So I'm making this slightly longer than this one. So it looks like it's stepping forward. How's that? I think that looks okay. Yeah, so when you draw this, you know, feel free to experiment. You know, try to draw different poses. It's always cool to add in your own thing. And right, let's just give this a little bit more shading. So that actually looks like it's round and three-dimensional. I'm not going to shade too much. 
because it does get a little tedious. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. Okay, and then the mouth. Just a little bit on the bottom. Just around the edges, make it look like it's round. And then we have to continue this for the body. Sketching is a lot of fun, guys. You just pick up a pencil anytime and just doodle. Never know what you're gonna come up with, and it's actually really good practice for drawing. Okay. So maybe I'll just leave it like this for now. I can always try more later if I want to make this a more complete drawing. All right, so that's going to be what I'm going to draw here on the side, but with a Sharpie. So now let's draw this if you just want to draw with a Sharpie or a pen and you don't really want to sketch. All right, so we're going to start the same way. Because the mouth is the biggest element, I'm just going to draw that first. Give it a slight curve. Again, it's a rounded rectangle. And don't worry about the lines if it's a little bit wobbly. If it's a cartoon, so I'm just gonna give it an edge on the inside. And then of course the cool looking teeth. So oh, I'm just gonna, well, I'm not gonna even look at that. I'm just gonna draw some random teeth. And again, you can draw yours however you like. You can make it sharper or even like longer, thinner. You know, you can make it a little bit more menacing. It doesn't really matter. Just have a little fun with it. Okay, so the inside's gonna be black and I'm not gonna do that because it's kind of a big space. Let's just go ahead and draw in the, uh, the head. So right here on the head, Let's see, the best way to draw it will be, let's come up here and just draw a little curve like this first. That's gonna be the top right there. And then we can draw in the eyes. Just go out, just round it up. And then come back down. So probably somewhere around here, you can make two little dots. And then from here, continue this curve all the way down. Okay, and if this is a, a strange way of drawing, you can draw the, the hump first and then just come down and finish this. So you leave a little bit of open space and then from there you can draw in the eyes. So there are many different ways of drawing these, uh, these simple cartoons. Okay, so now for the eye, just a little egg shape inside. And then for this one, I'm just gonna have him maybe look on onto his left. Let's just see how that looks. All right, so now we can draw in the body. So again, we can continue this. You can make two little points so we know approximately the, uh, the same width. Just come down. And then for this, we can draw in, just kinda come down right here. This will be the bottom. And then now we know his legs gonna be somewhere around here. So again, now we're gonna come out. Let's have this come in. Now let's draw on the other side first. Okay, so come down. And again, you can draw slightly different if you like. Just come down maybe a little bit longer than this one. 
Okay, so now we're gonna draw on the inside. Just follow this curve. Let's round this out. Follow the outside curve. And then again, just round it out. All right, so that is pretty much it for this uh, pink character. Hope you guys like this. And hope you like the sketch as well. This is actually fun to draw. And uh, I might finish out um, just a little bit more shading you know, for the final image. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for this pink character. Hope you guys like this new format. And uh, thanks for being here, you guys. You guys are awesome. And I will see you next time.